Moving on, let's talk about their T-Splitter, because again, Asa Home is the first to offer this type of accessory, and no, it's not just splitting the data into two identical sections. To make this as easy to follow, I'm going to connect 12 LEDs to output 1, and then another 12 to output 2. Now this is where I'm going to insert my T-Splitter. You have your input side, your main output, and then your branch output. For this example, I'll connect the input side of the splitter to the end of our 12 LEDs in output 2. Then I'll connect another 12 LEDs to our branch output, and then I'll do 24 LEDs to our main output. Next, I'm going to go into LED count and enter in the total number of lights I currently have connected, which is 12 to output number 1, and 48 to output number 2, for a grand total of 60. From here, go back to the main screen on the Asa Home app and go to Add Device. It's going to find the T-Splitter and you can click Add and then Done. It'll bring you to this screen and you're going to change the model to S1080 and we can enter in the total number of lights we have connected to our branch output, which is 12. Hit confirm and those lights are now operational. And I was curious as to how these lights would fall in line on the full string, so I went in and created zone number 1 for LEDs 1 through 12, which is our first group, 13 through 24, which is our second, and then sure enough, LED 25 through 36 are counted as the branch output before moving on to lights 37 through 60 connected to the main output. Now the benefit of this, if it isn't obvious, is that you can run separate lights off in one direction, and once the data gets to the end of that run, without having to connect anything to the end of those, the data is able to seamlessly jump back to the main output lights and continue along the way. 